Have a good day. So today we are to discuss algebra of uh, matrices. So basically, a matrix is a rectangular array of uh, numbers. So for example, we have a matrix A. Since a rectangular array of numbers, we have the dimensions. This is m by uh, n. Where n, let's say m, that represents the number of uh, the rows, while n represents the number of the uh, columns. So, for example, if we are to write the elements of a matrix A, so let's say this is uh, A11, first row, first column, A12, first row, second column, up to A1, and column. Let's say we have A sub 2, 1, second row, first column, second row, second column, up to let's say A sub 2, and column. So, let's say we proceed to the last uh, row, this is A sub M1. A sub M second column up to the last element A sub M N. So these are the elements of let's say matrix A. So for example, So as you can see, we have a matrix B. Matrix B is a matrix consisting of a single uh, row. So if we have this type of matrix, this is an example of a uh, row matrix. Then another example. For example, we have a matrix C and elements of a matrix C. Let's say this is a11, a11, a21, Let's say up to A sub M, A1. So matrix C is a matrix consisting of a single um, column. So this is an example of a column matrix. Alright, so if we have this case, example, or what they have, the number of rows is equal to the number of uh, columns. Okay. If the number of rows is equal to the number of columns for a matrix, this is an example of a, a square matrix. So we can have also for a square, mat a square matrix, the dimension can be expressed as n by n, since m is equal to uh, n. So for example, let's say d uh, with the elements, uh, let's say 1, 2, 0, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, and 8. So if we are to count how many rows do we have, okay, the number of rows is equal to 3, and the number of columns is also equal to uh, 3. So this is an example of a uh, square, square matrix. Now if we are to observe these elements, okay, 1, 4, and uh, 8, so these are the uh, diagonal elements. So the elements of a matrix or matrix B. If we are to sum the diagonal elements of a given matrix, let's say this is 1, 4, 1 plus 4 plus 8, and it's equal to, and it's equal to uh, 13. Uh, we call the sum of the diagonal elements of a given square matrix as the trace of a matrix. So therefore, if we are to describe, this is the trace of and the trace of matrix D is equal to that 1 plus 4 plus 8 that is equal to 30. Alright, the trace of matrix D is basically the sum of the diagonal elements of a given square matrix. Okay, let us proceed to operations. We proceed to addition or subtraction of uh, matrices. So take note that we can only perform addition or subtraction for uh, matrices having the same uh, sizes or having the same uh, dimension. So for example, we have, uh, let's say this is uh, matrix A with the elements, let's say 1, 2, uh, 0. This is 3, 4, 5. Then we have uh, 6, uh, 7, and uh, 8. Then we have a matrix B with the elements, 
So this is uh, negative 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, uh, 6, 7, 0, and uh, 8. So we have this uh, two matrices. So the dimension of matrix A is uh, 3 by 3, and the dimension of matrix B is also 3 by 3. Therefore, we can perform addition or uh, subtraction. So for example, we have a uh, letter A. We are looking for the sum of matrix A and I matrix B. All we have to do is add the corresponding elements. For example, first row, first column, first row, first uh, column. So that's the same as we have 1 plus negative 1. Then we have this is a 2 plus I positive 2. Then this is a 0 plus a 4. That is for the first uh, row. 1 plus negative 1, 2 plus 2, 0 plus a 4. For the second row, I we have this is I 3 plus 3. I this is 4 plus 5. Then we have 5 plus a uh, 6. On the third row, this is a uh, 6 plus a uh, 7. We have 7 plus a uh, 0. Then 8 plus a uh, 8. Then we simplify. This is now matrix A plus a uh, matrix A plus a uh, matrix B. 1 plus negative 1 is a uh, 0. 2 plus this is a uh, 4. This is also 4. We have 6, 9, 11. This is a 13, 7, and a 16. So this will be the sum of a matrix A and a matrix B. Then for example, we are required to compute for A minus a B. Then again, we have to subtract the corresponding elements. For example, first row, first column, minus first row, first uh, column. So this is the same as 1 minus negative 1. This is 2 minus 2. We have 0 minus a 4. Right, this is 3 minus 3 for the second row. We have now 4 minus 5. Right, this is uh, 5 minus 6. And right, then this is for the third row 6 minus 7. 7 minus 0. 8 minus uh, 8. And right, then we simplify. So for letter B, this is matrix A minus matrix uh, B. So 1 minus negative 1, this is positive 2. 2 minus 2, this is a 0. 0 plus 4, this is negative uh, 4. This is for uh, the first row. Then 3 minus 3 is a 0. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 5 minus 6 is also negative 1. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. 7 less 0 is a 7. 8 plus 8 is a 0. So this will be the equivalent of matrix A less or minus matrix B. So this is for addition and subtraction of uh, matrices. So again, uh, right, the sum of two matrices having the same or different sizes is uh, undefined. You can only perform addition or subtraction if we have matrices having the same sizes or dimensions.